Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are solving another puzzle, as always, and today's puzzle is the Hanayama Luft puzzle, which I'm pretty sure means egg in French. So we're solving the egg puzzle. And providing I've not completely butchered that word, Luft sounds much nicer and a much more interesting puzzle than egg. From the looks of it, it looks like a, a, a maze type puzzle, which we've solved a couple of in the past. So today's gonna be interesting to find out whether it is sort of a maze-like puzzle, I'm fairly certain it is, and then how it compares to all the other maze-like puzzles that we've done, like the Laby puzzle, and like the Mobius puzzle that we did fairly recently. It is a level four difficulty, which out that's out of six, which has a lot of variants. We've got level fours right down here. And then we've also got level fours right up here on the difficulty scale of easiest puzzle down here, hardest puzzle up here. And that's enough rattling on about this puzzle. Now it's time to do the three things that we normally do or that we aim to do. First of all, we're gonna separate the two pieces of the Louvre puzzle. Then we are gonna to attempt to reassemble it back into its position. And providing those first two things are done, we will then place it on the leaderboard and compare it to all these previous puzzles that we have done and then place it where we think it ranks based on my own level of difficulty. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is a freshly unpacked loof puzzle. First of all, this is a very big egg. This is a lot bigger than I expected. And yeah, looks extremely interesting. I'm interested to see or to find out what this silver bit is actually connected to. Is it a gold piece? Ah, no, I thought it was one bit, but there's two bits. So this bit is connected to the gold bit, and this bit is connected to the silver piece. That's interesting, I was just trying to shake it, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. So before we actually get into working our way around, and quite clearly we are working our way around to this position in here, and this position in here to separate them, however, I'm wondering what these circles are for in here. But before we do all that, let's have a quick read of the box, see if there's any hints that will help us get this apart. This labyrinth style puzzle done up in the shape of an egg gained prize winning honors at the second annual puzzle design competition in Antwerp. The French puzzle name when translated to English is quite appropriately titled The Egg which of course is the key word here. Simply put, the goal here is to separate the two pieces and then put them back together. This task will prove trickier than you think. And this is another one from Oscar van der Venter. Right, we've got zero help whatsoever in that. So, we're now gonna try and figure our way out around this puzzle. Now looking at it, obviously it looks very simple. You just follow it to here on this side and follow it round to here on this side. And they are different, they are different designs on each side. But, I mean, it, it then seems as simple as working our way around a bit at a time. Now, I imagine there's gonna be steps where we have to come back first on, one, on a certain side before we go forwards, but I mean, yeah, it doesn't, like, well, like I said on the, what well, it says on the box, it'll prove trickier than we think, but even, even with that warning, I feel like this shouldn't be too difficult or take too long. Even with just using like a, a trial and error method of, well, like I'm doing now, just twisting around, seeing what happens. This does seem to be trickier than it seems to solve. Can't seem to be able to get past sort of this area on this side, or sort of this area on this side. So what I'm trying to do is, as we're going around, or as we get to certain positions, see if there's any other ways of, of twisting. I don't seem to be having much success yet. I mean, I can get to, this is the furthest point I can get to on this side. 
will end up here and then sort of over here is the furthest side I can get to on this side and we sort of get to around here on, on this side. So there's obviously a move in between those two positions where well that allows us to get a bit further and as of right now I don't understand the puzzle well enough to be able to, to spot where that move could possibly be because it's hard to keep track of okay this one now has to move this way and then in relation this one has to move down it's, it's quite hard to, to do that a few moves ahead of where you are it's easy to do now so for instance I need to move this up which means this one would need to move down and obviously we can't because yeah the tracks don't go in that direction but to go any further ahead of that in terms of right well if this goes here and then up this one would have to go here and down but it's a little bit harder than that but as of right now I cannot get anywhere at all so I'm now trying to hold the puzzle at an angle where I can actually see both of the pegs on each side and you might be able to see that on camera, you might not. But, I mean, what I can now see is that to get around this corner here, this bit needs to be down here. And I think that helps me in terms of, well, figuring out what I need, where I need to be. So I can't get any further on this piece until I am further, or until I am here with this piece. And at the minute I can only get this peg to here rather than down here. So what we need to do is figure out firstly how we get down to here. Which, yeah, I can get to here but, but no further at the minute. And in this position, this little arm thing here that we need to go around is about a, f well, a few millimetres longer than I need it to be. So after about 25 minutes of trying to figure out, so I can see both sides here and I'm trying to play around with sort of, I think there's four possibilities of where each bit can be at a certain time. And I keep getting to this point here and I can't see why this bit doesn't move down a bit. Like, because we've got space in here, but it's not letting me move there. So, if I feel like I'm going to have to just... I don't want to use force, but I feel like I have to. Mm. So, it feels like it's getting stuck, which makes me think, ah, oh, but there... What? If that's it, then that's ridiculous. That is far too stiff. I hope I'm doing it wrong. But then we've, like, I've, uh, that can, that's, that is further than it's been before. Ah, oh, man, I can feel it grinding. That isn't a nice move. But with how loose it is after, and the fact that it's taken me 25 minutes and I've not made any progress whatsoever, and then another grinding move to get around to here. And that is the furthest we've been on that side by a mile. And also the furthest we've been on on the silver side by a mile as well. Maybe it's because it's just new out of the pack. And I guess it has to be so precise. I mean, look, we can get all the way around to there now. So there's no question that that must have been the right, the right thing to do. Anyway, we'll, we'll cheer up a bit again and we'll carry on. So we're right back at the start on the silver side, but we're as far as we have ever been on the gold piece. And here, I'm guessing we're at another stumbling block, because it's almost like to get further on here on this piece, on this side, or on this, to get further on this side, we, there's almost like there's two ways to go there, you can see. And it's like you have to pick the right side to be able to get any further on this side, if that makes sense. You have to pick the right route on this side, on the silver side, to get a bit further on the gold side. And we're close to now separating that piece. We're making progress now though. We're making progress now that we've got those moves that require, we've found those moves that required a little bit too much force. So 
So again, another bit that required a little bit too much force for my liking. But maybe that was the wrong move actually. I feel like we just need to get around that corner so that those straight lines can sort of go down each other at the same time. So at the minute this is as far round as we've got with the gold piece and this is the position where well the silver piece is to get to there but I feel like that probably has to be over here for us to get any further up here or maybe maybe now the progress is to be made on the silver piece so what we can do is swap this side in here some, it's somewhere around here that this swap happens and now because there was because there was positions that required force now I'm thinking that using force is sort of all right in all moves if that makes sense like that like I had to force that around as well but this is the position that I was aiming for so now oh look how close that is to getting out if that's intentional that is very well designed now we can make a bit of progress coming down with the silver piece I think or oh, this is as far as we've been with the silver side so where are we so we're back down here on the gold side but we're much further on the silver side and here's a question as well, oh, this is the question that you're sort of constantly asking yourself, like we don't know which bit comes out first, so we don't know like where progress is, if that makes sense. So like I'm coming all the way back on the gold piece now, but on the silver piece, I'm as close as I've ever been to the end point. So that's, that's the clever part about this puzzle, or well, that's the challenging part about this puzzle is like I've been all the way to here with this bit, but now I think I'm further along in terms of getting it's, these two pieces separated. But we've gone from almost separate in this side to sort of more than halfway back along the puzzle. <laughs> but now, yes, uh, this is definitely progress as well. Now we're all the way back where we were with the gold piece, but look at how that silver piece, or look how far along the silver piece we are. So now, yeah, so everything's moving much more freely now as well. It'd be interesting to know, or it will be interesting to find out sort of like the quickest way. I've de well, I've definitely not found it. I've definitely gone backwards and forwards quite a few times, I think. Hmm. Still end up down here. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. So we're back in that position there. And yeah, so we're... Oh, this would be interesting if they both actually come out at the same time. If this is like a tease position where you're sort of a centimetre from getting out on that piece and, well, as close as you can possibly be on this side, then, yeah, that's very, it's been very cleverly orchestrated. And I'm hoping that the... Final move is somewhere around here, but based on the shape of that and that there, I don't think it is. Oh, yes. So it was just there. Again, it's just it must have been a move that just requires just a little bit of force. Ah, that's the one frustrating bit about this puzzle. But we have managed to separate it in God knows how long right now, but it'll be on the screen somewhere. Wow, that was tougher than expected, but I feel like the reason it was tougher than I expected is because of the a lot of the moves just required a little bit too much force for my liking. But yeah, we've separated it now and hopefully we've greased up those moves enough. 
so that putting it back together is nice and smooth. Which is task number two. So task number one done, we've separated them. Now, let's try and put them back together. So the good news with putting it back together is that we know that they both come in at the same time. And yeah, I know vaguely how to get when we're in sort of this position with the silver piece, we can move around pretty much the whole way back with the gold piece. So, yeah, let's see how well I can remember getting back to the start. There we go. Reassembled in yeah about 10, 11 minutes. Much easier putting it back together. I mean, there was a few spots that I remembered that we sort of as almost like checkpoints, and then other ones where yeah you just sort of trial and error our way back. But that is the loof puzzle done, and yeah now we need to place it on our own leaderboard. So there we go, we managed to eventually separate the loof puzzle and then put it back together. Not 100% happy or satisfied with this puzzle purely because of the amount of force that was required for some of the moves. Now I'm hoping that I was just wrong in those positions or there was a slight little tweak to the same positions that actually allowed the pieces to move smoothly around. I'm hoping that's the case but I'm fairly certain that's not 100% the case. Regardless of that, it is an incredibly clever puzzle and what I, my limited understanding of it in terms of having to go all the way through one, or on one side of the puzzle, then all the way back on the opposite side to get a little bit further on the other side, to come all the way back forwards on the other side. It's an interesting, extremely clever way of working around two mazes at the same time. Yeah, it's genius is overly used in terms of a description, but 100% accurate in this scenario. Now the final part, the final task that we need to do is place the loof on this leaderboard. This is the hardest puzzle, and we go right to left, top to bottom, in terms of getting easier, all the way down to the loof, which is the easiest puzzle that we've done so far. And now we need to place the loof somewhere on that leaderboard. Now we're not at the top, we're not at the bottom, we're somewhere in the middle, somewhere closer to the top, sort of the, the top of the middle half, if that makes sense. So I've narrowed it down already to, we are harder than the duet puzzle, but easier than the dial puzzle. Now there's a lot of different spaces in between there, or in between those two, and I'm struggling to place where the loop puzzle is gonna end up. The nutcase was one of the original or one of like the first two or three Hanayama puzzles that we did. That is a fairly tough one, you have to be super precise with that. Is the loof harder than the nutcase? I don't think it is. I think we're going to go below the nutcase and I think we're going to stay above the rattle puzzle. So we found its spot, above the rattle, below the nutcase, job done. that is 100% gonna fall down at some point, probably as I'm talking. Fingers crossed it stays there. So that is it for today. We have disassembled, reassembled, and then placed the loof on the leaderboard. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with the, my, my ranking of the loof puzzle, my opinions of it, if you have solved this one for yourself, anything at all. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve more of these Hanayama puzzles, all these step-by-step -step solutions to all of them, the Loof solution will be out in a couple of weeks, then click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.